Hello. Husky's back again with more Edmonton Oilers GM Adventures mode commentary. Uh, last video we had a very disappointing exit to our cup defense. Um, we uh, we had a first round exit and we have the 18th pick in the draft. Do I see Stamkos? Stamkos won the Art Ross and the Hart and then retired. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And the Richards. We won all of the statistical awards that he could, and then he retired. That's a fucking way to go out, man. A third round pick for Jeffrey. Who is Jeffrey? Um, excuse me, but I have not played this in... Oh, about a week and a half. So I have no idea who's on our team... What I need to do to make the team better. Uh, I don't think the draft is going to be the place that we make it. Ooh, first strong goalie though. I'm taking him. West Garth. Medium elite. Let's go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I think I need to figure out how to improve my defense. As I, looking at our team's overall ratings, it's 96, 91, 94. Uh, my San Jose team is stacked defensively, so that might be what I need to change. Um, and I also think this is going to be the last season for the Edmonton Oilers GM mode. Um, I know I said I was going to do 10 seasons, and that would mean that we have two more to go. But I made the decision with my San Jose one to only do nine, because I'm just, I'm burned out. On Edmonton and San Jose, we're coming up on 40 videos for both series. Holy shit, a medium top nine. Nice. And I'm just, I'm ready to get on to something else. I know that I have that FIFA thing that I want to do, but I just haven't had the time to really dive into it or had the interest in it. Like, that's, FIFA is something that I really enjoy. And I want to make sure that I want to do it. We've actually had a pretty good draft here. We've had a medium elite goalie and two medium somethings i'll make one more pick see if we keep it going here with our uh that's gonna be low is that medium top oh, okay I'm, I'm done with that but yeah this is gonna be the last season for edmonton like i said i'm burned out i have one more gm what i want to do um before nhl 18 gets here which is usually sometime in september i know it's only july it's not even july it's june mother it's fucking june but I just got a job, and I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading videos. I'm going to hope to keep it a video a day, but I'm going to be working 10 hour days, so I don't know if I'm going to have the just the time to record. But yeah, let's see who we need to resign. We need to resign Austin Matthews and Timothy. Uh, those are two big ones. We have 22 million in cap space. Ryan McLeod, Hayden Fleury, uh, Connor Brickley. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a cheeky little release. Foster. Foster, I'll qualify, but I'm not going to sign him. Let's see what Matthews wants. He wants 8 point... Fuck you. What's just Timothy with? Timothy wants 7.7. .7. Timothy's a damn good defenseman. Six point five eight, so six point six. Oh, that's not awful. Fucking Austin Matthews, eight point one. Fuck off. Six point eight eight. That's not. Mm, that's not awful as well. Do six point nine. Um, I mentioned it in my Sharks video that I'm gonna talk about the Chicago Blackhawks trades in this video to a little more detail. I gave a small spattering of what I thought of the trades in my San Jose series. I also talked about the... Uh, fuck off, I'm not signing you for that much. I also talked about... What did I talk about? I talked about the... Uh, fuck off 2.5. You were nice, but you're not that good. Um, I talked about the Vegas Golden Knights. I talked about the Adidas jerseys. I talked about the moves that the Islanders made. To protect their players around. I, I talked a lot of expansion stuff in the last two Sharks videos. Episodes 38 and 39. So if you're interested in my opinion on the expansion draft. Those are definitely the videos to watch. 
I basically, I barely pay no attention to the game when I just talk about the expansion draft. Uh, Gold Thunders. Oh, I really don't have to sign anybody here. Alright, so let's see. After I sign all those guys, let's see how much money I have left. I don't think I have any money left, to be honest. I think that's everything. 95, 91, 94. Alright, so everybody signed. Let's see what I'm looking at salary cap wise. I'm sure I have nothing. I actually have four and a half million. That's not awful. It's really not that bad. Better if I have to resign. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm done after this season. But I should. I'm going to grade myself on how I lead the team. So, defenseman. One, two, three, four. Fuck. Shit, I don't know. I only have four defensemen right now. Well, I kind of have to because Flurry's not going to want to play. He's top four, isn't he? Yeah, he's top four and Foster's top four. So neither of them are going to want to play here. Uh, let's throw this guy an offer because he'll be cheap. Maybe I can sign a couple bottom tier defensemen. Fucking Connor McDavid, 9.4. That's, that's really biting me in the ass now. It's alright. I think we'll be okay. Go ahead and sim to free agency. Also, apologies for the lack of videos for the past week. In case you don't watch my Sharks videos. Uh, though my week was hectic. I was working outside for most of the week. Uh, after that, we had our 4th of July Independence Day party over the weekend. So I had to spend a week cleaning. It's just, it was, it was a mess. I didn't have time to do shit in regards to videos. Alright, so I have to sign two defensemen, so let's see. Defensemen. They don't need to be good defensemen by any means. Um, they just need to be defensemen. I can get away with some top six guys. Preferably, I'd like... Oh, excuse me. What do I have to give up to get you? Oh, nothing. You're in UFA. Nice. I... That was... Alright, so let's throw them two offers and see if they sign... I was going to start to run into morale issues with Foster and Flurry this season, so it's probably better off to let them go. Alright, so they both signed. That's good. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him the next season. And let's talk about the uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, who uh, Mr. Stan Bowman just tore apart and is trying to rebuild uh, a winning team. Uh, the big move that everyone took away was Artemi Panarin and Tyler Mott. For Brandon Saad and Anton Forsberg. And I'm sure there were some bottom draft picks in there, but I don't really care. It's the player. It's Brandon Saad for Artemi Panarin, basically. Um, now, Chicago got real attached to Panarin, but, I mean, if you come in with any sort of skill level and you're put on a line with Patrick Kane, you're going to put up points. And I think that's, he definitely succeeded expectations. But now going to a system with Tortorella, where he's going to have to learn to play two-way hockey, which he does not do any of, he does not play any defense, uh, I think he's going to suffer. I think that trade, I think Bowman understood what he had with Panarin. He gave it two years. Um, he produced at a great rate, but again, he played with Kane. He played with Anisimov. They had a good line. And I think that he is definitely a product of who we played with. I also expected the free agents or the offseason to sim longer, so we're going to go ahead and hit calendar. Not calendar. Calendar is not the right button. Um, sim the next preseason game, that is the right button. But yeah, I think the, uh, I think the Panarin for Sad Trade works. Sad is a. He's got a couple years on him age wise. And he's about the same price in cap hit, but he's a better all-around player. Not all-around. He's a better two-way player, which they have to have because Hosta just pretty much announced his retirement with this skin issue. 
I gotta figure out my fucking team here. So Marion Host is allergic to his own sweat, is what came out. And it's convenient that it happened now because his salary magically went from four million dollars to one million dollars. Right, so I have nobody in the miners. Shit. So that's my team, really. Man, I'm really. Just... The cap hit me fucking hard. Yeah, the cap hit me fucking hard. Holy shit. Is this seriously what I'm working with? What the hell? I let two guys go. I let. Brandon Leipzig go, who I guess would have been this guy, and okay, that makes sense. Is there anybody down here I can call up? No. Oh man, I want to upgrade my wings, but I don't see the point. This team is so top six oriented that it's insane. McLeod got no boost, so he still needs it. Uh, it's a good thing this is our last season with this team. Because it might be a struggle. We might not make the playoffs. I mean, we got Corpus Allo, But shit, man. This is going to be... This is going to be tough. What's our defense? Oh, this dude's scratched. Maurice Biron. Alright. I mean, our defense isn't horrible. We're not a bad team by any means. But we're definitely... I don't feel like we're a good team either. So we're 11 minutes in. Do I want to sim? Yeah, I do. I want to let's let's sim a bit. Let's do at least the first the opening game sim. But yeah, back to the Hawks. In addition to the Panarin, Hosa, Sad, and everything, uh, they also traded Nicholas Jalmerson. Fucking wind! Oh, the door's gonna slam. Oh, good, it didn't slam. Uh, they traded Nicholas Jalmerson to the Arizona Coyotes for Laurent Dolphin. There goes the door. Yep. Thank you. Uh, they traded him to the Coyotes for Connor Murphy and Laurent Dolphin. Now, I'm okay with this. Jomerson's on the older side. Uh, Connor Murphy's pretty young, pretty inexperienced, pretty unproven. Laurent Dolphin is a decent bottom six guy with a potential to be a top six player. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not overly thrilled with the moves that Bowman made, but he kind of had to make them because he was sitting at 5.6 over the cap. And you're only allowed to go 10% over during the summer. Oh, nice start. Beer on in Forsberg. All right. All right. Dunham and Matthews. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we're Koch. Why is Vinny the villain in? God damn it. Um, I expect the Hawks to try to sign somebody on free agency. Um, oh, Stefan ties it. That's not good. Uh, Stefan gives him the lead. Awesome. I was kind of hoping they would make a push for TJ Oshie, but he got locked up by the Capitals for fucking ever. So that's not going to happen. But yeah, I'm, I am i don't really see a downside to these deals. I mean, people are just butthurt because they're trading their player favorite players away. But when you've got a team that's won three Stanley Cups, and you leave the playoffs back-to-back -back years in the first round, and they got utterly destroyed this year... They did, They scored less goals than games played in this playoff series. So they needed to... Changes needed to happen. And they happened. They're plain and simple. Like, that's exactly what happened. Bowman made moves. He's trying to put a winning team back together. Now, if they are truly going after Patrick Sharp like they say they are, uh, I hope that that's not a thing. Because I would not like to see Patrick Sharp back. He's definitely past his prime. He's like 36... He's going to want like $4 million. Unless he takes like a $1 million contract, he's not worth what he's going to bring to the team. At all, in my opinion. Oh, I don't think I named my Sharks video for this morning. Oops. Alright, so we're 2-6, and 3-6. Six, and six. Um, I don't have high hopes for this team. Like you saw the lines, like, my bottom six is awful, my bottom pairing is awful. Uh, but I'm just... Like, I don't... I don't have any cap space, I can't make any moves for people. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, I know it's a little early, but my outro extends a little bit. But yeah, feel free to uh, comment on the Hawks. 
Give me your opinions in the comment section. Uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Best way to share the series and get the channel noticed. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you for the end of our final season. Hopefully we make the playoffs.